Hi guys, this is Max, and as you can see here, this is going to be my mastery setup when it comes to the gameplay that you're going to buy, about to see with Captain Marvel. So Captain Marvel, I took it into AQ. This is map 7. Um, this is going to be day 1. This is my second week I take her, but this is going to be a different path, so I've never used her on this path. Any version of Captain Marvel, any 5 star or 6 star. So this is my first time using her, so this is her first fight ever for AQ on this specific lane. So we're going up against Bishop, and as you can see, he's got Bane. So basically that's gonna get transferred onto me. Um, and the way to get it off of me is basically just to tap him. Do a little tap, a little hit, and there he goes, he gets Bane on him. But the goal here with the first fight is to get as many charges as possible, hopefully reach 25 charges. So every time you block a hit, you do a parry, you get two um, charges. So you saw me go from 15 to 17. Now Bishop becomes very defensive, does his little moonwalk setup. Um, but there I took almost the entire Bane, but I transferred it to him last minute. Now I go for a heavy right there mid to uh, mid combo. It doesn't work out for me, but I knew that with Captain Marvel. <laughs> so might as well Bishop have that little nerf gun because with Captain Marvel and her awakened ability when she has over 20 charges she goes uh, indestructible and depending on her level uh, that's how long she's gonna last with that buff on so I'm sitting at level 100 so she gets it for almost 11 seconds so 10.9 seconds to be exact now this fight on uh, this is section 2 the lane that I'm assigned basically they need to have debuffs on them so one of the things that she does is she um, does armor breaks now I'm about to slow the video down here I'm gonna pause it because I want to read out to you here so when she she has 60% chances to inflict armor breaks on light and medium attacks so right there that last line item um, and then that happens when she's in binary ignition mode so basically the goal here um, is to get her to 25 charges um, activate uh, my binary um, and then attack into the champion now you see there I had 21 charges and that's the beautiful thing about using Captain Marvel is that the charges transfer okay fight is over so we're gonna go ahead and rewind this fight Yes, so here I wanted to mention when she has her indestructible buff, any special launch as you saw there, you get zero recoil out of suicide. So man, she's such an amazing tool. Uh, I said this before, like I, I, I you know, fortunately uh, and unfortunately I didn't have her as a five star, so I never got a chance to like really play her so this is kind of my first time really getting uh some play time with her uh so I'm very lucky that i got her as a six star and i was able to take her to rank three so she's a very um hard hitting um you know very useful uh champion at this level so here we transfer the fight with 14 charges um now we're at 25 again we get that indestructible buff um and you know, she's at signature 100 at the moment. Um, so when she gets to signature 200, it actually doesn't, it goes from 11, or almost 11 seconds to like 12 seconds. So it's not that big of a difference. Okay, one thing here too, um, anytime you do a, a heavy while you have your, uh, uh, what's it called, your binary activated, you get uh, three more charges. So uh, they're counting down, but once you do a heavy, um, while you have it on, you get three more. So this blade fight, very annoying, especially when he gets very uh, defensive, very passive. And when there's Bane involved, even more annoying. So um, I do take quite a good amount of Bane damage on this fight. Because um, there's a couple of things I'm looking at. Basically, with uh, this fight, every time, or this week, I should say, um, anytime you evade a hit, um, you get up to 10 basically 10 evades before they go unblockable and his uh, special 2 um, sucks <laughs> and, uh, you you know you're gonna take a lot of damage if you if you if he's unblockable and you're trying to evade those spe that special 2 you just saw there that I blocked basically okay so my goal here is to get him down as fast as possible so I'm at 11 charges and I'm at, a, you see the little seven number there? That's basically, I'm at seven. So I have three more evades, I know this. Um, and I gotta 
keep in mind the Bane as well. So, um, yeah, it could be a difficult fight, but um, it's not impossible, okay? So, pretty cool, pretty cool fight, a lot of moving parts. So here we go for a special three, um, very clear special three. Yeah, I like your special three. So, bam, KO, good night, Blade. Now, the second most annoying fight, and I've heard it said that is possibly the most difficult fight um, in AQ, uh, this Crossbones. Um, so, with Bane, with um, uh, him only being able to evade a certain amount of hits, um, and with him being very aggressive um let's see how this goes so 18 charges transfer i'm at 22 because he was again very aggressive out the gate um launches a special one i evade it so i'm at 24 25 bam i'm um, i'm basically doing hard hits doing massive damage now because i'm i am i proct his debuffs on him so he's at five debuffs uh four Bam, special three, 62% health, 54% health, 51% health, 49% health. 41, 33, 25, 17, 9, and KO. I think those numbers right there said 63k damage at the end with that special three, man. She's such a powerful champion. That fight, um, so this, okay, this fight, Counter-Strike, Special Delivery, and I forgot to mention the whole entire, those previous fights, we were basically fighting with one hand behind our back. We had negative 40% uh, percent on all Cosmic Champions. So, um, yeah, we didn't really showcase the amount of damage she can do. We actually showcased her, uh, her with negative 40%. So, if you will enjoy those definitely uh, big crit numbers, Fury numbers, um, uh, just know that she can do more more damage so this fight um this fight is quite annoying because um it's linked but the uh so we have i think with the link you get uh, she doesn't get more health i think she gets like negative 50 percent damage or something like that so again we're, we're crippled a little bit here we have no uh charges transferred because this is my first fight with her um so let's just take a look and see how we do us uh, i do quite we make quite a few mistakes and this is a, a good thing a good thing to practice too for yourself and um if you never recorded your fights um and you don't like to do that definitely do them because you catch all the mistakes you do so here i'm supposed to launch my special three and i don't so look at all that that i'm taking 853 um per tick so uh, with this fight, if you basically this is day two on, of AQ, so it's not the main transfer anymore. You get like 15 hits. Um, by 15 hits, if you don't launch a special, uh, you basically degen. So I took a lot of degen on that actually uh, th there basically. So now I'm at 52% health. Um, I'm at 14. So you see that 14 number 13 with the little fist? That is basically the countdown of your combo uh, of your hits into the champion. Um, and as they go down, you got to keep an eye on that. So you got to keep an eye on that. Now, one thing that you don't see here is basically the amount of evades that I have left. So you get 10 evades of her hits. And then with Emma Frost, um, you almost, you see, there she goes, unblockable. You, I always evade her special one. Now, in the beginning of the fight, I was doing a lot of parries of her special ones because I noticed that I, I didn't, I couldn't see how many, um, um, how many I had left so um, I was I was like oh man so I got zero charges from the previous fight um, negative 40% and then I have it's linked so I was like dude I should have let someone else take this fight <laughs> but uh, I really wanted to record this fight um, again there we go again don't launch the special as you know I was one hit away and I, I basically hit Emma Frost and then launch the special which is a no-go because I'm a DJ and so Luckily though, I'm at 23%, 23 charges, so one parry, 25 charges, and I get my indestructible buff. Um, so I take no degen off the, the rest of the little countdown of degen. So 
here um, the other and the reason why is she's also really good for this fight is because um, she again she armor breaks and Emma Frost when she's uh, she has an armor break on her she her form basically switches so you can get uh, the most amount of damage so look at those furies guys um, very nice hitting man she's such a powerful champion if you get her as a six star definitely take her take her up take her up to rank two take her up to rank three if you can so um i go in knowing that um i'm not in the best setup to take down this omega but i figure hey you know why not uh let's see what we can do so not the best uh fight um again i don't pay attention to that countdown you see that uh, 15 so I did launch a special there but the, again I'm right after this I don't and you just, you'll see how basically look I'm at 39% health he's at 73 72 I do take him down to 60% I think I leave him basically at 60% for the next person to come in and uh, take him down but guys this is just a very small clip of Captain Marvel in AQ map 7 thank you so much for watching it's for me to hold your hand Cause I'm just a girl